Sam Horsechief is a beloved running coach here in the Cherokee Nation, making a lasting impression on every student athlete he coaches. But it turns out the way he challenges those kids comes from a very personal place, from a time when Sam himself needed a push. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready, go. When you put that suit on, you're running for Sequoia. You're running for natives everywhere. You're running for Cherokees, whatever tribe you are, you're running for them. They won eight state championships in the cross country. The boys won six and the girls won two. And we won like 31 regional championships and about 150 uh, track meets and cross country meets through the years, you know, we've won a lot of them. I've been lucky I got to coach 93 All-Staters here at Sequoia. And a lot of them ran right here on this course. Most every last one of them did. Feels a lot better going down this way because it's downhill. But they're going this way is a lot harder because they're going up that slope, but it's good for them running that hill. Well, this is my 35th track season right here this year. All right, you can rest up a little bit. I wasn't going to be a track coach. I didn't even plan on it. My mom was an art teacher here at Sequoia, and they said they were looking for somebody to help them out for track just for that season. I, she said for me to try it, and so that's what I did, and I've been here ever since that time, 1987. I was born in Dallas, Texas. My mom's from Salisaw, and my, she's Cherokee, and my dad's Pawnee. He's from Pawnee, Oklahoma. And that's where I was born in Dallas, because he had a job down there. And anyway, we started coming back to Oklahoma, and we lived different places. But eventually, we moved to Muskogee, and I've lived there ever since. I live there now. That's where I grew up, right there in Muskogee, Oklahoma. My dad had a hard time. Uh, alcoholism and uh, you know he had to grow up you know he, lots of times he wasn't there he'd just be gone for weeks or months or maybe longer so actually I kind of got used to him not being there sometimes even though I missed him a lot wish he was there our mom took care of us you know and he's the one that got me to start running in the first place even though I like football and basketball running was the last thing I've tried I, I just did it because he wanted me to do it even though I did like running, I just never ran on track team till ninth grade. And when I got out there and uh, I found out right away I could run pretty good. And uh, I got a medal the first race and I was like, this is, I like this. I thought it was something I could do really well, maybe more than anything. I think that's another thing that drove me so much because lots of times I go to those races, I ran in the big school class, like 6A. There wasn't hardly any Indians in there. Here I was, I was an anchor on the mile relay, Muskogee High, had long hair. I could run it, I could run with those guys, I could run with all those guys. I was really proud to be that, and that's why I trained so hard, you know. I, I didn't want to make Indians look good and be, say, be proud of something. By the time I was in 11th grade, I, that's the thing that happened was my dad passed away, and it really bothered me. And in a way, I mean, I know it did. It drove me, because I always wanted to help, make him proud of me. And I ran all the time. I mean, I ran almost every day. For, from that time on, until I got to college, I was running about every day. And then when I got to college, the same thing. I kept going, but that's what happened. It was, it was really an important thing to me running is, because it involves my dad. I always felt good after I ran. I really did. I, I, I tell you, I ran hard. <laughs> it's almost like that pain. I mean, you get painful when you're running hard. It's almost like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how much pain I can take all the time. I, just, I was always driving myself that way all the time. The main thing is we're trying to get a little bit faster each one. Just a little bit. I know it's, it's hard to do, but that's what we practice all the time. We're always trying to do that. Remember when you first started that? It was hard, wasn't it? Yeah, and then, then you got really good at it by the time you were senior. That's the other thing I like to do is my artwork. It kind of help, helps me relax things. I've always did art. I, I, did, I could draw and paint before I even went to grade school. 
because of my mom. That's the thing I've been started doing last, probably about the last 15 years. I do paintings for them when, when they graduate. I gave out to them when they're seniors and they graduate. And I like doing that. I like doing that for them. That is a, one of the greatest things to see when they finally, they finally realize that you see them, hey, I can be good at this. And I tell them that too. I said, I was always wishing I had a coach that, that could have helped me in high school. And so I'm here to help you, I'm telling you. I'm here to help you. You guys want to, got to want to do it, though. And yes, it's not easy, and it's hard. But you got to be willing to do it. And I've been real fortunate. I got a lot of them that's been wanting to do it. So, and they kept on coming. And a lot of them are related to each other through the years, and they kept on coming. So it turned out really well. Kids every day and challenge them to become better runners. And I think with the showing of the athletes that he's coached, and I know this is a small sampling of what he has coached in his career, it's just phenomenal how many lives this man has touched over the years. Coaching deserves every bit of it. 30 years. It was like my 30th year of coaching there at Sequoia. And, uh, yeah, they just kept it secret from me. They had a lot of my old former runners that were there. I mean, a lot of them. <laughs> they were there from even the first ones I ever coached. Yeah, you can always run. You always keep running. Put your extra miles in all the time. You can do that all the time. And the only one that's going to stop you is yourself, really. So just keep running. All as much as getting all There's always miles. something make me kept it driving me all the time. And then I look back at it, I know it was God. It was always, he's always pushing me, always saying, no, you're not done yet. Now I know it's, it's all connected. It is, it's all connected.